I'm Dr. Bain Wilson. I'm assistant professor in the Department of Animal and Poultry Sciences at Virginia Tech. I'm involved in uh, uh, beef research and extension activities here at Virginia Tech as well as uh, coaching the state 4-H and collegiate livestock judging uh, teams. So today uh, at the Charlet uh, Listening and Learning uh, session here on campus, uh, I talked about uh, bull selection for commercial cow-calf producers. And so what we talked about uh, was just basically nine steps in selecting a bull and then the different tools that are available for that. Uh, a large part of this uh, talk did focus on using EPDs, uh, kind of navigating uh, which EPDs to use which uh, ones to put emphasis on and put uh, correct uh, selection pressure on based on uh, your operation. Uh, we also talked about uh, the relationship between cattle sell price and bull price and how that is an investment in our future, improving the genetics of our herd, and then how we should also be mindful with uh, production uh, systems that we uh, face in our production environment and labor uh, and feed resources and then how that, how that can affect our bull selection uh, decisions that we make. So I think that definitely uh, Char Charlet being a, a continental breed, I think one of the, defi the definite strengths that Charlet have in the beef industry is that of a really improving growth uh, in yield grades in our beef, in our beef industry. Uh, a lot of times this can be through uh, selection of terminal sires or uh, incorporating them into a crossbreeding program that we need to add growth. Um, I think there's different uh, parts of the country also that we have the feed resources available to really incorporate those genetics and improve the, the growth of our cattle. So as far as using uh, Charlet genetics in the southeastern United States, uh, the southeast in general, we are blessed in that we do have a pretty, uh, the luxury of having a lot of forage availability and if managed correctly, this forage is, likely, is largely available year-round. Uh, as such, we also, I think, have the ability to run a little bit larger cow than other parts of the U.S. that are a little more arid. And so thus, uh, we can maintain the, that, that, that higher, that larger cow who has more growth and can pass that uh, added growth on to her calf. And that might be a place that we can use Charlet to, to keep that growth kind of in the cow herd. Uh, one advantage of the Charlet, if we think about the southeastern U.S., is uh, we do have the issue of heat stress. Um, from a research standpoint, uh, this is something we're definitely finding, have more interest in researching and determining the true effects of heat stress on cattle production. Uh, Charlet uh, composite cattle, uh, they would not have uh, as much of that black color and thus that it can be uh, in a situation that, that can also alleviate uh, some instances of heat stress uh, on those cattle. And that's gonna be more important the further south you go. Uh, clearly we you know with a lot of the popular crosses, if you go more to the deep south, we're not talking about a lot of black-hided animals.